Hey everyone, it's Sky Schooley here, a staff writer with business.com. And today I'll be walking you through how to use Clover's virtual terminal. Let's dive right in. Here you'll see the Clover POS dashboard. And up on the top left corner is where you'll be able to access the virtual terminal feature that I'm gonna show you. So this is the primary virtual terminal dashboard. Virtual terminals are great for taking payments over the phone or out in the field. With Clover, you have the option to run three types of transactions, a virtual payment, an invoice, and a recurring payment. For this demo, I'll show you how to take that standard payment on the virtual terminal. So for the sake of this example, say your guest has an order of $100. You'll enter that in the total box here. And then down here, you have a notes field for identifying the items or services. For example, we'll say pro cleaning services. And you can also know if this is a mail or phone service. So here you have the option to enter a tip and or a convenience fee if those are applicable. However, you can choose to remove those altogether if you want. For this example, we'll say they left a $10 tip. So we'll enter that here. If you scroll down further, you'll find the payment information fields like the card number, expiration, CVV, and zip code. Up here, you have the option to add a new customer. You can gather customer details like name, company, phone number, email, and address, and then save all of that customer's profile into your POS system. So something cool about this is that the virtual terminal does give you the option to save the customer's credit card information on file for future virtual payments. So for this example, let's say we're entering a payment for an existing customer that we've worked with before. You can search by customer name or business name. In this case, we're looking for John Smith. Over here to the right, you'll see this little blue card icon, and that indicates that we already have his card on file. So once we select him, you'll see his card information autofill at the bottom. And if you select his name, you'll be able to see his customer profile, with all those details that we just previously mentioned. If the card is expired or he wants to replace it with another card, you always have the option to remove the card as well. If your customer wants a receipt, you can send it via email. You just simply key in their email address in that field and they receive their digital copy. For the sake of this, this demo, we won't send one for now. So we'll just go ahead and complete the transaction with the button right down here on the right. And there you go. That's the confirmation that the virtual transaction was successful. If for some reason you've made a mistake or need to remove the transaction, you do have the option to void the transaction right over here to the right. So once you click done, you are on to the next payment. So simple as that, that's how you use Clover's virtual terminal. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And for more business related content, subscribe to our channel.